Morning. Terrible week this week. Absolutely lashing it down everywhere. Floods everywhere. Ground saturated. No camping for Phil. I am not going out in this. The 30th of September today. Nine o'clock in the morning. So I've decided to come out for a local walk. Some woods near me. This wood's called Furry Glen. I'm going to make my way down through Furry Glen. I'll pick up a couple of paths I've never been on before. Skirt the bottom of uh, maybe Parbold Hill. Then make our way over. If it all works out, to plan, I'll end up at Horrock Hill uh, Windmill. Maybe about seven or eight miles. We'll see how the weather goes. Got the waterproofs in the bag. Got my brew kit. So we can have a brew on our way around. So come on, let's do it. We're not two minutes in. Look at that. Perfect. I did say we've had a bit of water though, didn't I? Hopefully, by now, it'll be apparent. I've got my external mic. So today's a bit of a test. Let's see how we go. Did promise you. Hopefully no wind noise. Unless that hurricane comes. I expect it this afternoon. Coming across the Atlantic from America. They said it'll die out before it gets here. But expect heavy wind and rain. Shouldn't be expecting anything else, should we? That's all we've had. Leaving Furry Glen behind us now. Just shows how much water we've had. All in waterfalls. Sheep have getting right out here. And the mist is lifting. I forgot to put my sunglasses in. Again. Man. Made the right decision to put the wellies on though. Don't know what we're going to come up against today. We can find out though, won't we? Just up to the uh, right of me is uh, Parbold Hill. It's working any day, doesn't it? Dead right. That's for a gaff. Yeah, I'll take it. Don't reckon they're going to give me it though. 
So if you do this walk through Furry Glen, you drop down through Furry Glen, you end up coming along this path, then you got options. You can either go that way, and that path takes you straight to the top of Parbold Hill. Or you can go down to the canal, you can go the way I'm going, which is that way, which is going to skirt us around the Parbold Hill itself, and we'll end up crossing over the road, pick another path up, which is going to take us over towards Highmower. So we're walking along Wood Lane here now, you may just be able to see the steeple of the church that's on Parwold Hill, part way down it. And pan you round. And you've got Nash is speaking over there. In shrouds of mist and cloud. And then you've got a load of daisies. Get in there. And they go watching it. Must be part of YouTube channel. So we're getting closer to the bottom of Parbold Hill. There's the church. Well, you can see it, but I'm not sure if it'll pick it up. But there's all the mist rolling in over the beacon. Back to noisy territory now though. Gotta cross this road and hopefully back to some peace and quiet. We've been over this climate day. Not a big one. Okay, so we just came out. A little bit further up there, make sure you don't miss it. That away. So just back there, looks like a bridge is damaged. You could jump over, not big. But there's a bit of water going through there. Luckily, I got my wellies on. So all good. I just broke out the wood back there and just followed the field up. There's the church, the Stamp Arm Old Hill. And then the views. Beautiful. So I've just come up from the bottom corner, followed the edge of the field up. On our way that way. Considering I've never walked around here, it's beautiful. Lovely views. A bit squelchy under, underfoot, but other than that, well happy. Do you want to be on our six pills adventures? No, nope. nothing. So we just followed that path just in there. Just up the side of the field, but boy, look at this. We'll carry on going up this path. It's going to bring us out near, I think it's the Rigby Arms, up at High Moor. And then hopefully we can carry on over to the windmill. Tell you what, must be struggling around here. There's a few bad gaffs not anyway 
the Rigby Arms. And just down there, High Moor. We're going that way and we're heading over into them woods. Nice his footpath I have everyone walked on anyway. Let's just hope we're in the right place. Well what a place. I had to switch over to my phone because stupidly I've left my fully charged battery for the camera at home. Dull. You can actually see Blackpool Tower through there. Tell you what, it's special round here. It's absolutely stunning. Can't believe I've never been and walked these paths. Certainly they're coming back. So this is the Harrock Estate. There are grouse and pheasant everywhere. And every so often you get patches like that. Which I assume is corn that they're growing to feed the grouse. Could be wrong though. Not a real gamekeeper. Our destination is in them woods though, that's where the windmill should be, so not far to go now, more corn, a more beautiful landscape, I've never seen as many, never seen as many. That's where we've just come, across that field, over the stile, the angle left. So there you go. And there's the remains of the Horrock Hill windmill. So I'm full in it. Let's go and see if we can get inside. Amazing what you find. Not 20 minutes outside of Wigan. Quick brew. Be rude not to while we're here, won't it? There it is. That's a little Lixarder store that I bought off eBay. £5.50. Alright, little belter. And you spend a lot of money. I reckon that's good enough for a cup of coffee. Well, it is beautiful here. I know I've only had a coffee. Same rules apply. Leave no trace. But I'm going to retrace our steps now. Up to a certain point. And then head back to the car. Say goodbye to that. Bye. So I've just left the windmill behind there. Just retraced my steps. I'm going to go back across the field. 
retrace and part way until we get to one of the um, they look like telephone masts. I want to go straight on there instead where I came up from the right on my way here. Make it a bit of a loop round just so I'm not going the same way. So let's carry on. So that in the distance is Rivington, the Rivington Pike. So we're back at the T-junction, that's the way we came up, and we turned left and went that way, but I'm going to go back that way, stunning views, absolutely stunning. On a beautiful day, so as you're walking down that road, Quite a wide road, vehicle could drive it down it. You've got it, don't miss it. Very small signpost. It's not a style, it's bricks and over a wall, stone wall, over the wall, onto the field. And you go diagonally across the field, straight down to the edge there. So we follow the field diagonally across. Just into them bushes there, there's a style, over the style. Continue down the edge of the field. You can just see the footpath sign there, so you come up across that, front of the gates, head down the driveway, then pick this path up again here. So we've just headed over from that corner, we're now meeting back onto the lovely driveway we walked up earlier. And we went up through the trees, and up the path line up there. Back to this poor man driveway. Tell you what, imagine having that as you drive all the way down there, straight to the house. Stunning, absolutely stunning. I look a bit out of water. So we're leaving the Harrick estate now. Say goodbye to that. We're just heading down now to the main road at the side of the high mower. So the high mower is just up there about 100 yard. Head down the road and then through the gap in the fence. This signpost is just been knocked over and hidden a bit. Somebody decided not to straighten it back up though. Wonder why that is. Not going on my land. I have been this way before on the bike. Bit tight, but still fun. I'm nearly back at the car now. Sorry for how many times I might have said stunning or beautiful, but I can't believe how nice it's been. So nice. Show you that last bit now, coming down the uh, field. Whilst I sign off. So thanks very much for watching, as usual, like, comment and subscribe. Going off the watch, it's been 7 mile and about 770 feet of climbing. So, it's not been a bad walk. Just proves you don't have to go long distances to get nice walks. In beautiful countryside just got to get out and do it anyway thanks again for watching catch you on the next one see you later cheers